close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it coming in, watch it going out. Try to stay with it all the way in, all the way out. You're trying to develop a quality of consistency here. Because we live in a world where things are pretty inconstant. A few days ago it was really hot and we're looking for ways to keep cool. Now it's cool, we're looking for ways to keep warm. Things change very quickly. What allows us to live with the change is to have skill in dealing with all kinds of situations. And this is what meditation provides us with. It gives us a safe place where we can step out of situations and look at them. Not only situations outside, but also situations in the mind. And from that perspective, then we can develop the tools we need so that we don't have to suffer when things change outside or they change inside. So one of the tools we need to develop that place where we can step out is this quality of consistency. You stay with the breath all the way in. You don't let yourself get bored. You don't let yourself get tired with it all the way out. You just stay with it. Don't let yourself get distracted. And trying to bring some solidity and some constancy into your own mind. Because this constancy outside is not that much of a problem. It's when your own mind is inconstant. That's when you're in trouble. If you can't trust your mind to do the right thing, think the right thing, then you're in trouble. So try to make the mind a little bit more consistent. And so it's not quite so dependent on things outside. Because often the reason we do the wrong thing is because we're dependent on something that changes. And we scramble around trying to prevent that change. And can often do some pretty unskillful things, just out of our desperation to keep things just the way we want them. But the mind can have its own independent space, and it can live in a world that changes and not be so knocked around by the changes. You can keep your head above water, regardless of how high the water rises. And this way you can see what's right and what's wrong, and then have the strength to do what's right and what's, avoid what's, what's, wrong, what's wrong. So try to develop some consistency in your meditation. And that way you'll be able to develop a happiness that's more consistent as well.